Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And you guys, uh, I left you guys with a question, which I'm going to be talking about at pretty much at the close to the end of the show. Why is it that feminists are the first ones to talk bad about females? Those two things don't don't match up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, again, that was um, Goddess, and that's the official theme song to Nothing But Woman Power. Um, so check it out. We are in our fifth year um, in the summer, so it's great. Uh, and since we're talking about nothing but woman power, we have a woman empowerment here today uh, that does a lot of stuff. First of all, thank you for coming. Thank you. you know, but make sure you speak on the on the on the. Okay, the, it's my first time. Yeah, it's the first time. The first time. First time. <laughs> Introduce yourself and you know Hi, say a little bit about the business. Shana Rosario, and I was invited. I'm from Pay Forward BX, and I feed my borough. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm starting at one location, and my goal is to make it bigger. Yeah, uh, I, I put a, a thing on our social media, feeding the community one plate at a time. Um, that's my little slogan for them, yeah. um, <laughs> which is cool because, like I said, I met you guys when I was coming out the train station. Y'all were feeding people. Um, what made you want to start something like that? It's a long story, but to make it short, um, I have someone that's really close to my heart that was um, battling addiction. Mm. No, no, take your time, take your time, don't worry about it. And then um, I just lost the job, and I was placed in that location, in that area, and I was seeing this on a daily basis, on a daily basis, and it was really affecting me. Mm. And I just, got, I just started praying to God, like, how can I help these people? How can I make a change? And it just started from there. I just decided on Easter to cook dinner and wow. bring out food. and. It just—it was just an instant connection. Yeah, it, it's something that it takes. Uh, that they say, when there's a tragedy that happens, a diamond comes out of the rough. Um, it always happens that way. And lucky you came. But who cooks the food? Well, I started, and then my mother-in-law, my aunt. I have friends that donate. Okay, I have but the food is good. <laughs> through Instagram, they donate food, so mm. it's just pretty much everyone that just sees the calls and they ask to donate and they bring food out. Well, and I was just amazed because the story that you said, and then and then on Easter, where holidays lately I've been saying are the selfish holidays of the world. I'm always saying like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. Um, those are the most selfish holidays. Like, I ain't doing nothing for nobody. I got my family I got to worry about. I got, And you came out and did something. So, well, that you know. day is special to me. For years, it's been a special day to me because the per, the, my family member actually was in an accident one time. And they, I was living in Puerto Rico at the time, and they called us to come to Jacoby that he was going to pass away. Oh, wow. And prayer is really strong. We got together. It was like about over 100 of us at the Jacoby Hospital. We prayed, and he woke up that day on Easter. Oh, wow. See, tell you, the holiday sometimes is a blessing. Um, depends on how you, you know, embrace it. Uh, I always say certain holidays are a gift. I'm not Christian or anything, so if you guys thinking I'm talking about God, I'm just saying in overall, it's a blessing, no matter who you serve or who you don't serve. Because, um, like I said, it's like selfishness, like Thanksgiving, especially Thanksgiving. is one of the selfish uh, things, especially to give out food. But as a Puerto Rican, my house, my mom was like, you never deny food, you know, like that. You never deny food to nobody, so... Uh, I used to hear that a lot. So when I seen you guys doing that, I was like, wow, you know. Yeah, um, but how, like, if someone that wants to donate their time or even donate food, how can they do that? Well, honestly, I just work based on off my Instagram. So if someone hits me up through DM, we can always, if they're serious about it, I'll exchange numbers and we can always connect. Or mm -hmm. they can always come through to the location. I let them know what is it that we need or what they can donate, and they mm -hmm. come through. Yeah, I've been, like, uh, I don't know if it was you or your husband been Instagramming, come to this place, come to the place, and I'm like, every time we, we book somewhere, 
because we are uh, like real busy. It's never like we don't want to go. So that's why I was like, you have to be on our show um, because that's like for us to spread the word. Um, but one day, don't be surprised if we come in with cameras. And you're like, oh, the LDN show is here, <laughs> you know, um, because we love to bring out stories like that for the community to understand that it needs to grow. Um, there is a lot of people out there that are homeless. Um, and some of them are not uh, homeless because they wanted to. It's not, it wasn't there's their a fault. a lot of people out there that are homeless that are not addicts. There's yeah. There's people that are just homeless. Just went out. They're in shelters. Yeah. And they, not, you know, they feed them, but they don't feed them nice, good, warm place like I do. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I seen everybody. They were like <laughs> smiles on their faces. They, for that one moment, I think they even forgot about drugs and stuff because I seen a couple of the drug addicts like, oh, okay. That's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. Well, that was working. They was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. sucking fingers. Like, I was like, whoa. Work. I need to eat like this every day. Which is nice, you know, because I seen the whole, uh, I think the one good thing about I, I seen you guys do, because a lot of people, not a lot, but some certain people, they do the food drive or something, but then they want to drill religion or, or you need to get off the streets, like, you know, like, oh, no. but I see you guys don't do that. Y'all just get the food and you compensate with them. And you have I'm not, fun. I'm not God. Thank you. Thank I you. I don't judge nobody. Thank you. If people make the decisions they want to make, that's their decision. At mm. the end of the day, I feel love does heal. And my job is to just love on people, and they'll make a decision when they want to make it better. Which is true. Um, but, like, when you first did it, mm -hmm. you, did you see yourself going this far? No. No? No. I just did it once. And then it was, I left like a few people hungry and I was like, I gotta go back and feed the ones I left hungry. <laughs> and then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and I was just like, I'm doing this forever. I could do this forever. Hey, and, and again guys, um, pay it forward it needs you. I'm not gonna say that. Just like we doing the fundraiser to move to a new place, things happen, you know, but uh, People like this definitely need a community. I would say it takes a community to help a community. Teamwork um, dream work. Yeah, but a lot of the community, hmm, I don't know. I, I can say bad things right now of what I've been seeing since I've been out in the streets doing shows and covering events. I'm like, this is not what my mom was talking about when she was talking about community. You know, people talk a lot of bad things about the 80s in the Bronx, but guess what? We had community together. We made sure, kid outside looking like he's hungry and dirty, here comes a parent that's not even his parent, gives him food and sends him home, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now it's like, mm, no, mm, yeah, you know? It's sad, but if we stay consistent and follow our goals and mm -hmm. dreams, people eventually see that we're serious about what we're doing. Yeah. And then, guess what? They Latin people. Not, not because I'm Latin, I want to say that. It's because... Y'all yeah, better get it together. Yeah. <laughs> I, exactly. I, I've been telling my wife, I tell my friends, like, everyone, every other race gets what they want because they say something. But I've been looking at the Latins like, yeah, the dumbest people alive. Like, y'all don't complain for nothing, but you will do it in your house, though. I mean, esta, esta persona, it's this don't, we don't get this. But then when it comes out to go out there and do something, y'all don't do nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it like it is. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of Puerto Ricans right now cursing me out in Spanish. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes, I did. Y'all the dumbest ones because y'all don't want to say nothing. And then when you have people like this that is Latin doing something out there, y'all probably bad them out. But y'all grab a food, though. Y'all grab a plate. Y'all grab the hell of a plate, though. <laughs> And then complain later. Yeah, like, it wasn't all that good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was alright. It was alright. Right. I'll go back for seconds just because she's out there. I don't want her to be alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's all it is, you know. I just feel like unity. I think we just need unity. Exactly. Just, like just, you know, a lot of other cultures. Not just in July. They they unite, and we just need to become more united. And yeah. Even diversity, it doesn't only have to be lions. It's just yeah. Be all of us. Well, I, that's why I say community. When mm -hmm. I, even if I'm not talking about the little community, town, city, I'm talking about people when I say community. Um, though, so no matter where you live, what race, mm -hmm. it, because uh, it is it's great um, to be as one, like, especially in your neighborhood. You want to bring sure. back, and you see somebody doing something good in your neighborhood, help out. Mm -hmm. it, 
Two hours, one hour of your time. And don't say you don't have no time. I hate when people say, I don't really have time. If you're not in the media or, or in a business that has you 24 hours a day traveling, you have time. Um, two hours, 20, even that 20 minutes, because that 10 minutes that I stopped to eat a plate because I was forced. <laughs> no, but it was okay. It was okay. I got to see up close what you guys were doing and I stood there for like 10 20 minutes just to watch what you guys were doing and I'm like that's the same week on my show I had to talk about it because I'm amazed when I see something like that happening like okay they're doing this out of their pocket so I was like who's who's giving you the money and the guy was like nobody we get the donations I was like okay so who's cooking oh we got a couple of girls cooking I was like damn I never heard of this so you know my hat's off to you guys yeah yeah do so much and Guys, this this chair is all wiggy. I'm like, <laughs> all wiggy on this chair. <laughs> but um, like you said, your mom and all of them. Um, I'm gonna start a controversy right now. Who's the best cooker? <laughs> yeah, my yep. mom. Oh, see, she, her mom is probably watching. Like, mm-hmm. uh-huh. you better say me, girl. You better I say. From the best. I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> that it is good uh, that you do that, but and I'm talking about. They had the traditional. I had a rotong gandule that day. I was like, what? I knew this was not no uh, truck food. This was homemade food, you know? It has to be homemade. You can't come up in here talking about, this is from the supermarket. Because I'd be like... Yeah, I heat it up in the micro. <laughs> I heat it in the microwave. <laughs> but it's good. Um, so you, your aunt, your mom. So it's like a family. It's a family thing, yeah. Wow. That is, that is... Then I have friends that I've met through. And hey, that's what I said. I I love when I see things like that. And we're, we're definitely one day going to be out in the street. I'm talking about where you see cameras, then you know it's us coming um, to bring the story out to life. Because you guys got to see what I've seen. And I had the uh, the miracle of 34th Street, and it was on what, August, September when I met them. So it was in the in the summer, and they were still doing that thing for the, uh, especially in 149. I've seen a lot of homeless people there. Um and they were happy. I, I never seen, and I passed by a lot to go see my grandmother, and I never seen them that happy oh, when they yeah, were eating. They're always happy. They, they, they see me, and they're already like, yeah. I'm here? I'm like, I'm here. They, they, they spend their money on watch just to remember and shit. Okay, it's about that time. They're going to be here. They're going to be here about that time, you know. They got that alarm set. Cleaning the, cleaning the streets and shit. We got to make waves. Yeah, they helped me and everything set up all the time. Wow. There's one guy that... He's, he's not, he just lives right there and he just seen what we was doing and he was like, I'll help you set up. He's there every day. He's there before I'm there. Oh, wow. He helps me set up the table. See, that, that, that is good. He's from that neighborhood and they all know him and I'm protected there. Like, I'm safe there. I'm yeah. good in that area. See, that's, that's the one good thing uh, I can say about pretty much the homeless and some of the drug addicts. Uh, they protect their, I'm, I'm just keeping it real, they protect their com, um, community sometimes yeah, more than the people that, that, mm-hmm. that are good off, you know what yeah, I'm saying? True. Like, I be seeing them cleaning the streets, talking about, you know, I've got to clean this because, you know, I slept here, so I might as well clean it. I be looking at them like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they prove to me that you can lose something, but don't lose yourself. And that's what they, they show me when they do that. I'm like, okay, you know, hey, I, I got wrong because I have a brother that's, you know, a uh, drug addict, well, recovery drug addict now. This is the longest he went without taking drugs. So, you know, and this is what, maybe six, seven months probably. So from 20 some odd years of, you know, in and out of jails, crack and all this other stuff. And you don't know who's who. Like he came from a family that, like a good, great family, you know, great yeah. family for him to fall down. He was the only one to fall down like that. So, but we kept you know, holding up and holding up. So you never know. And he's, he'll clean the house, he'll clean this, he'll clean that, you know. Best cleaners. Yeah. Best cleaners. He'll dress all nice. I always thought about that. Like, why some of the dope things, dope things got look better than me and stuff. They be having nice sneakers, and but they be like, how you doing? All drugged up, but they look better than us. I'll be like, damn. Super clean. Yeah, yeah, they are. But again, guys, uh, time, one day of your life just to sit down and get some food um, or bring her some food that you guys have because I know some of y'all have 
food that you don't really got brought and I don't want it no more or something like that. Or just bring some food over, like bags of rice and all this other stuff. Or even helping hands because sometimes, you know, we're short on short. volunteers, you know, people just help me serve because it gets really busy. I used to serve. Now it's to the point where I can serve. I need people to help me serve so I can keep the line organized. I can make Oh my God. Yeah, that day I was like. Way. Yo, they were, they were, they were giving like things. It was like acting with them and letting them know I'm here. Like I know you. I know who you are. You know who I am. Like we family. Like what's up? What's wrong with you? And eventually, I want to start hearing their stories. Like why are you here? What got you here? What got you to this point? Mm -hmm. And let them hear themselves speak. Sometimes they don't speak, and that's why they don't get out of their home. Sometimes they need to probably speak their own story and that's true. You know, put their story out there. And, and I, I always say, if you don't speak, you don't get hurt. So. Um, you know, but I definitely want you to keep up the good work and keep pushing that out there because people do, especially now, you know, winter coming, holidays coming, some of them just want someone to be there, you know. And it's especially with the, with the elderly because, like, for Thanksgiving, we open our doors and, and let all the elderly come in in my grandmother's house, and people were like, why? Because that's an elderly building, and I know one or two of them, the family did not come. To what to see them, you know, because who wants to go see grandma on Thanksgiving when I can be with my family, which I never understood that, but that's what happens, you know. I mean, I just feel that everyone should just be kind, yeah, and offer love. Go back to the 80s. The, I'm not talking about the, uh, the 80s, I well, see. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about, that's what I was saying, not, not the, uh, the, the, the way of uh, movements of no phones and stuff like that. That I don't love. But I love the moral of the people that were from the 80s, 90s, you know. They had respect for the elders. They had, you know, the value, family values. Uh, oh, I heard, I heard Miss Paul doesn't have food. And you see the whole building coming down with some food and stuff like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She was like, she fed everybody. Yeah, well, that's... What my mom used to tell me, like she used to always be outside. There was every holiday would be in her house, so you know it's like, what happened to those days? It's like, eh, I'm too tired, or they go to your house, social grab a plate. Social media is what happened. <laughs> well, let social media feed you. <laughs> See, that happens. You know what I'm saying? You know, but definitely uh, keep it up. So uh, we're just gonna keep on pushing it where people can bring some food, because I know after a while it's gonna get expensive. You know, yeah, and it's, there. yeah, I can, I can figure, you know, buying food, uh, you know, not every day supermarkets have sales. So, you know, it, it, it's, it gets heavy. So you guys, if you want to support with food or like she said, volunteering is, is great as, um, get it. If you don't know how to contact them, of course, you know how to do, you hit the LDM show button, tell us, Hey, how do we contact that lady? And we'll forward, um, forward it, uh, to you. So you can know where they're going to be at at all times. And not to get a free plate, to help. <laughs> all right? Be like, where are you at now? Because I'm tengo hambre. <laughs> I mean, everybody can eat. But I just, you know, when I was in 149, I had to leave that area because they started noticing me and recognizing me. And they were yeah. like, oh, we in the building. They, that girl's there again. And it was just too many people shopping and retail, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. It was, I was like, I have to get out this area. So now I'm at 146 and College Avenue. Mm -hmm, okay. Now, because that's where the shelter's at. That's right. where they're at. That's where they're located. And that's oh, the shelter's probably loving it. Oh, we don't got to cook today. She's back. <laughs> actually, you know, you don't have to actually get like two or three negative comments. From, from them? From them, yeah. Like. Because shelter, sorry to say it, for the people that think shelter is the, the, the biz, you know, I don't want to say the curse words, it's not. It's a business. Um, and if they see anybody trying to take away from that business, they get a little teed off, you know, like, or making it look like they're not doing well, their not job. actually the people that work there. It's um, people that, like, people that mm -hmm. think they're bougie. Ah. And Listen, you're in a shelter. <laughs> you're not no <laughs> ghetto and fabulous. They start, you know, complaining that I'm feeding. They start screaming, feeding these dope things. I'm like, That's dope things are people too. They were. They, they, but thank God I got God in my life. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I just be like. You know what's so funny? One time I I met a coke head, coke addict, and it turned out to be he was a vice president of AT and T before he fell. And a has yeah, and AT and T was still supporting him, you know. But he wasn't working, but still giving him money. And he had to go to rehab because AT and T was like, "We'll cut your money off 
And but they forcefully did it for him to fall in. But he never became. I don't know if he became president again, but he was one. So guess what? They are people before they became uh, what they are now. Of so of course, of course. First of all, we first all babies before we become adults, and we all come out of love and mm -hmm. journeys of life. Nobody really knows anybody's story until yeah. they speak it, you know, into existence. Also, everyone. And then you can sit down and decide if you're going to judge or not judge. Yeah. So you shouldn't judge anyways because you are not God. Yeah, just judge when the LDM show is there because I would love to <laughs> put you on blast, especially if you're in a shelter. Do not try to downgrade anybody if you're on a shelter. I'm just sorry to say it. You know, my sisters and everybody, they hit, you know, a shelter one time. But if you're in a shelter, you don't got no no reason to be trying to downgrade on somebody because you're you're down and out yourself, you know what I'm saying? But in your mind, you're going to get up there. Maybe you won't. I, just made a, I already made my mind, like, you know, at the end of the day, I can't change everyone. Yeah. And yeah. negative people are going to be negative. Happy people are going to be happy. Miserable people are going to be miserable. Yes, it yes, yes. It is what it is. Yeah, like I said, she just threw the bomb. She just threw the bomb at them. <laughs> But we turned the negative into the positive, so, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it up, and that's why we keep positive people on our show, and we keep, you know, like, combining. Uh, just like our guest today, you know, Prodigy is there, King is here. You know, all these people that we met through the course of the year, we've been like family. And, you know, like... It's, it's always... But like I said, the LDM show, I know we've been like, oh, we're going to go, we can't go, we... But we try our best, um, like shouting out the words, and, you know, yeah, do our best. But again, ladies and gentlemen, hit her up, try to give her some, uh, some help volunteering and everything and some food, especially your food. You know, we need a lot of food to, to be cooked. You know, you don't got to cook it, but, well, if you want to cook it, do you take cooked food? I don't know. I do take cooked food. Oh, okay. Food. Yeah, but it has to be something you know you know how to cook. Like, you know uh, to cook don't come try like, to bring any. Like, listen, I just tried rice yeah, for the yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, let's, so. let's see if this works. Let's see if this right. works. Yeah, it's all love. Like, at the end of the day, I'm there to offer love. And right. I feel like through food, it's the best way to show love. Right, right. And I cook what I love to cook. And my mother-in-law cooks what she loves to cook. We all cook what we like to cook because we're doing it with love. So if you're not doing it with love... It can stay home. If you're doing it with love, bring yeah. it through. Always waters are welcome. And plates, spoons, you know, things like that. Just to keep the, the thing party going. going. All right, there we go, guys. And, and if you want to come and drop them off here, you can drop them off out of our studio, and then we'll, we'll let them know, and they can pick it up. So we all combine in one hand to help the other hand. But uh, we're going to be back with, uh, with our guests and then we got Kathy that's going to be coming and talking about fashion, too. But you're always welcome to come Thank back here. So I'm glad it didn't snow this time, right? I know, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's the uh, social media? So you can find me on Pay It Forward BX or Janet Rosario on Facebook. There we go. Mm -hmm. Pay It Forward, and that just means... And it's Pay It Forward BX. BX? Oh, it's not the Bronx? No. no I, I, was, I was trying to be politically <laughs> like a white person. It was the Bronx. Like, oh, you're Pay It Forward Bronx? I'm like... No, no, it's pay for BX. BX. That's how I speak. Oh, okay. <laughs> so B dot X, so we can know it's BX. <laughs> because we'll be like the white people. Oh, it's Bronx, Bronx. buddy. It's Bronx. <laughs> All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Thank you for having me.